So, in lesson number one, uh, introduction to software defined data center. So, in this lesson, we will basically cover how the things happen in the physical data center and in virtual data center. Why we are moving to virtualizing the uh, physical data center. So, we will compare and contrast with, between the physical and virtual architectures, and we will see how the what are the benefits of the virtual machine and uh, how vSphere interacts with the CPUs, memory, networks and storage and uh, how actually this vSphere helps in building a software defined data center and in building a cloud infrastructure. So now, here you can see the topology of a physical data center. So first let's talk about what is a data center. So a data center is a dedicated place where you kept your uh, servers, computers, network and storage all together. So it's basically, as you can see here, number of servers sitting in, uh, sitting in there. You can see that uh, there are almost eight servers and they, on which uh, there are eight applications are running. They could be database servers, applications, web servers, or email servers, so, so, so and so. So as you can see, there's a one-to-one -one relationship between them. You can run only one application at a time on these servers. So think about how much space utilization they are uh, having and also uh, some of the costs are factors also included in terms of the, as they produce lots of heat. So you need a cooling system. So they, and they consume more power. So see the amount of space they require. And also, uh, as I also uh, talked about that under utilization of the resources which we have discussed and also uh, they, uh, they require manual maintenance you require an administrator go to that uh, uh, server if you want to take out it for the maintenance then first thing is to power off when you do the power off your application goes down and you your trust customers of mine will not be able to access the service so think about how huge a uh, loss you will be having so, the, yeah, failure downtime they include the manual maintenance and requires more cables. You need to connect your storage devices also. You need uh, network devices, switches, and everything requires lots of cables. So, the cost is the main factor here also. And uh, as I uh, also discussed that uh, only 5 to 10% of the resources are utilized by these servers. And we are running only one application at a time on this server. So this is a one-to-one -one relationship, and the OS is manipulating all the resources. So let's talk about how virtualization is doing the thing. So as you can see, the number of servers are reduced. There you can see the eight servers are there, but now you have four servers, and you have almost 20, uh, 6, 6 and 4, yeah, 24 uh, services running, applications running on. So what virtualization do, does is, it, it has and uh, consolidates your environment. So in the form of virtual machines, now you have deployed uh, the operating systems and applications on. So now these, like uh, if we talk about the first server, you have the installed the hypervisor that is become so ESXi host. It provided you the virtualization platform so that you can run multiple operating systems or applications. So now you are, uh, so they, they consume more, uh, less space. And as you can uh, see, you are transforming the hardware into software in terms of virtual machines. And also you are sharing the resources. So the three things virtualization provides. Transformation of hardware into software, resource sharing, and uh, uh, what I missed. Yeah, uh, get flexible resource sharing. Uh, how is the thing has transferred from so, uh, hardware into software? By using this hypervisor. Now, if here you can see, sorry, in the previous slide, you have a server and you have installed directly an operating system on it. It can be a Windows server or Linux server, okay? Operating system. And you have directly installed the application on it. So, when your application requires any resource, like it wants to execute some uh, process onto the CPU, so your, it, it uh, requests from the operating system. An operating system will then uh, transfer the request to the hardware. So, in this case, your operating system is actually talking. 
so as already talked about the dual booting also but in dual booting also you you are using only one operating system at a time so now if you talk about uh, virtualization you have the ESXi hypervisor installed on top of your hardware and on top of it you have installed multiple operating systems in the form of virtual machines and now when you create a virtual machines onto the hypervisor so these virtual machines we will talk about uh, in the upcoming slides like what is virtual machine is how is how it is doing and what the guest OS is doing in that so just uh, here focuses like the comparison between the physical infrastructure that you have uh, many challenges there uh, you need to in order to procure a, a new application you need to procure a new hardware you need to install the uh, desired uh, operating systems onto it then required application you need to install and there are this it will take up to months in times but in virtual machine uh, in the form of virtual infrastructure you have a uh, virtual machine your application will up and running in a, just a second you just need to write uh, I mean just few clicks you need to do and your virtual machine your server will deploy so in this case when you want to procure on sorry when you want to install a new application you don't need to procure a new hardware you just need to create a new virtual machine onto it so this is this how the procedures and administration tasks have reduced in case when you virtualize the environment so it will incur less cost and more uh, you can utilize the resources because now you have there you have only one application that is uh, monopolizing the resources and not using it at, at all only 5 to 10 percent hard resources are utilized but in case of virtualization six applications are running so how much uh, they are utilizing the resources so now yeah so this is how the virtual machine looks like um, it's just as a software computer it's a logical computer that you have created its functionality is same it has the operating system it has the applications and it has the virtual devices also like CPU memory and this controllers and some serial input output or parallel uh, ports the one thing uh, it has uh, here is VMware tools now VMware tools is a suite of utilities uh, that you install inside the operating system of the virtual machine so it will improve the performance and the management of the virtual machine. So you can say that it will not only provides the device drivers for the virtual machine, but there are many more features it provides, which will be discussed in virtual machine uh, chapter. Like what are the other things that we have to do for us? So as of now, you can see that they provide the device drivers so that they can increase the functionality of the virtual machine. When user is using the virtual machine, he he will not feel that it is a virtual. He will feel that it's a just physical machine. It has its own CPU, memory, and every uh, devices that a normal computer has. So it does not make any difference. It will not let you feel that you are working uh, logically. 